What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerp here, and welcome to another installment of Scrolls Top 5 Plays of the Week. Remember to submit your top plays to NerpTheNinja at gmail.com, and maybe you can be featured in the series. Without further ado, let's start the countdown. The first clip is a match between Flare and Rocky Wolf. Rocky Wolf has a menacing growth board, and all Flare has to show are two budding vetters. This play was included to show that Miracle Pudding is still alive. With the two budding vetters on the board, a double rack king allows Flare's resources to go up to 8, as you can see in the top right hand corner of the screen. And you guys know what spell costs 8 in growth. You guessed it God Hand. The God Hand almost clears the board, but it definitely did enough for Flair to come back into this game, showing that Miracle Pudding is alive and well. Number 4 on the countdown is in a match between Franconi and Guido Fubini. Guido Fubini has a firm grasp on the game, with more scrolls and resources than Franconi. He feels comfortable leaving a 10 health idol open, because Franconi simply does not have the resources to destroy it. But then, a surprise Sandpack Memorial gives plus 5 energy, and then a double power trip gives Franconi enough energy to go with the surprise Solemn Giant to take the win. That was an increase from 2 to 13 energy from those 3 scrolls. Guido Fubini was not expecting that, but he'll go home wishing he protected that idol. Number 3 is in a match between Anti-Rad and D-Ran Reb from Sunday's ESL tournament. They are both playing Mono Order, and Anti-Rad sees a Vanguard buffing a Skirmisher, so he decides to run away for the time being and come down with a Relorus and a Vanguard next turn. D-Ran Reb quickly weighs his options. He's trying to think of a way to stop the oncoming assault from Anti-Rad. He sees something he could do. He plays a Gallant Defender and a Tempo Theft to give the Honorable General zero countdown and have the Vanguard go off twice in the same turn, which gives him enough damage to win the game. That was a very surprise win that nobody in the stream watching the tournament was expecting. A very heads up play by D-Ran Reb to get him the win. The number 2 play in the week is by Glorfindel in a match between him and Zadrum. If you didn't know, Glorfindel is one of Blinky's many alternate accounts. Zadrum is threatening to win the game with strong units attacking those bottom idols. Blinky plays an Urva and then a Curse Presence which is like the new Malevolent Gaze and curses the Scholar in the back. With the Harvester and Meyer being undead, that will cause Urva to make some ranged attacks. So the first ranged attack? destroys the Skirmisher, and the Harvester deals damage to the Skirmisher and the Idol, which clears the row. A great play by Blinky brings him back to the game in a game where he was about to lose. The top scrolls play of the week belongs to Kradstash in a match where he plays Mono Order against Mono Decay. He faces a deadly decay ball of death, and he wins Imperials to see if he can get something going the next turn. Seeing as his only comeback might lie in the Mangonel, he keeps the Mangonel alive by destroying the attacking unit and increasing the countdown of the other. Yes, this is recorded from before waypoints, that's why the unit stats are so wide. I didn't realize they were so wide. Thanks to Mojang, they're much thinner now in waypoints. Facing a board full of powerful units, Crash plays a summons to draw another Manganel, and then looks at how he can deal the most damage. As you know, when you place a Manganel with a Manganel already at zero countdown, the Manganel comes in with haste. He puts the other Manganel down, but that's not enough damage to destroy the powerful creatures. But he puts a Royal Vanguard down, and then a double blessing of haste 
causes both mangonels to get boosted attack to almost clear the board. He could have cleared the board if he wanted to, but he wisely did not destroy the Oblivion Seeker because he did not want to give free cards to his opponent. This was the first edition of Scrolls Top Plays of the Week since Waypoints came out, and I hope they only get better. Congratulations to Kratzash, he'll be receiving 1000 gold very soon. Thank you all for watching, subscribe for more content like this, and like the video if you enjoyed. Keep on scrolling, Scrollsers. I'll see you tomorrow.